It's 603 right now. Police have not found the suspects who crashed into this pharmacy in North Baltimore and stole the ATM. Yeah, the most recent theft was just over 24 hours ago and a few blocks from the TV station at the Walgreens on York Road. And now for the first time, Baltimore's police commissioner is talking about what's being done to try to stop these ATM heists from happening in the first place. We have WMRT News' Mark Roper at that Walgreens this morning. So Mark, what is the police commissioner saying about what's being done? Good morning, Christian and Megan. Well, he talked about having detectives dedicated to solve these cases, but it's really more about what he didn't say. You know, we've seen these ATM thefts go from a monthly to weekly to nearly a daily occurrence. And as far as what information they do have, they really haven't shared much with the public so far. ATM bandits strike again for the third time this week. This time their target was a Walgreens on York Road at Walker Avenue in North Baltimore. Thieves crashed a van through the glass front of the building early Thursday morning and took off with the store's ATM. No one was hurt, but it did leave a huge hole in the front of the building. Police tell us they have recovered a white van near Eldon Road and Yale Avenue. That's right behind the Loudoun Cemetery in southwest Baltimore. Police also say that van contains evidence detectives believe the van was used in an ATM theft, but they didn't confirm if it was the van used in the York Road Walgreens theft. But there have been several of these same type smash and grab ATM thefts in the city and Baltimore County. Baltimore's Police Commissioner Michael Harrison was asked about what's being done to catch the crooks at a press conference held by Mayor Brandon Scott yesterday. This year we have 29 versus last year we had 70 for the whole year. And so we've designed, assigned a detective to each one of the districts to work exclusively, to work as a liaison with all of our partners to, to work and share information to help identify people responsible for it. Now, we've heard a lot from Police Commissioner Michael Harrison how he would like people in the community to be the eyes and ears to help catch murderers, but we really haven't heard that same approach being used to help catch these ATM thieves. 40 Live North Baltimore, Mark Roper, WMAR2 News. Yeah, Mark, we we're going to ask, you know, is there a picture maybe of this white van or maybe pictures of the suspects that people could be keeping an eye out for? Yeah, police really haven't uh, shared any surveillance video or pictures of the potential suspects yet, or even a photo of that white van that they found yesterday. Yeah, it seems like they would at least have surveillance video of the van coming out of that um, at that Walgreens there in North Baltimore. Mark, have they said if they believe any of the same people are responsible for all these thefts that keep happening? Yeah, these thefts have been ramping up since the summer. We keep seeing them happen from, you know, like I said, from a monthly weekly to almost a daily occurrence. But as far as any information on the suspects, police haven't really said anything about that so far, whether they are connected or whether they believe they're connected. So at this point, we really don't know. Okay, Mark, we'll continue to follow that story. Thanks very much.